Plaintiff and star of Love and Hip Hop, Mariah Lynn, claims her BFF talked her into a star-studded celebrity birthday party and promised to pay for it all, then stuck her with the bill. She's suing for $5,000. Defendant Paris says he worked himself into a sweat planning and putting on Mariah Lynn's big bash, but never agreed to pay for it all. Please raise your right hand. Me too. That's you. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Amen. Yes. Ma'am? Yes. Oh, Thank that you. was the amen, you know. Thank you. Yes. We have Mariah Lynn. Oh, you are on Love and Hip Hop. Yes, I'm a gold-selling artist. I'm on multiple reality TV shows. Well, great. You're a hip-hop artist. And I'm here to collect my coin. Oh. What coin? Okay. And you are Paris. I'm Paris. I'm a hip-hop artist. Nice to have you both here. Apparently, you are suing him in the amount of $5,000 for reimbursement for your birthday party expenses. Yes. Why should he pay for your birthday party? Obviously, I'm not used to being in a courtroom sure. without a lawyer because, you know, when I talk, it could get pretty ugly and... I'm not really ugly, so I have lawyers talk for me. Yes. But um, oh. I originally had this plan of going on a trip. It was fully paid for except for my flights. Um, it was a romantic getaway for my birthday, candlelight dinner on the beach included, mm. um, rooms included. With your boyfriend? Yes, at yeah. infinity pool, just a gorgeous ambiance and setup. Yeah. And so I didn't want to have a birthday party or nothing. And, you know, Paris obviously suggested and really pushed the issue like, oh, you should have a birthday party. You know, you should have this and this 360 camera and a venue, invite the blogs, invite other celebrity, you know, friends that I have. So. I basically need your help, Jerry, and I came to you because I don't want to beat my best friend up. And normally that's what I do okay. when I get mad. So <laughs> I still want to be able to hopefully keep our friendship after this because I just feel like he's lacking on his best friend duties. Okay, so you're saying he came to you and said, don't go on that trip. We've we got to have a big birthday party for you. Precisely. And what happened? Um, after he talked me into doing the birthday party, a week before the party, again, invited all my celebrity friends, famous photographers, for Getty Images. Did my invitation get lost in the mail? <laughs> it did. I, I did didn't, you get one? I didn't get one either, Judge. What a loser. I don't know what's oh, happening. No. You're, you're, you're a loser. You didn't get an invite. I guess no, so. No. I, I wish so. I would have known you because I definitely would have invited you because I know your money is long, too, so, you know? <laughs> That's party. the most attractive part of me, my wallet. Oh, yeah, very... <laughs> So you I, got the coins, Judge. Yeah. Indeed, <laughs> I okay, agree. Okay, go ahead. Let's get back to the case. I don't owe her nothing. You okay. know what I mean? I you came up with the idea with the party and planned everything. I cooked everything. I bartended. I did all of that. Let's see some pictures of the party. Yes. Please do. There we go. Oh, it's a video. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You ain't paid, bitch. Opulence. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> you see me right there? Stays yeah. all on my shirt. Behind the bar collecting tips. <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. We're doing some exercises. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite exercise. Well, it was a good party. Thanks to me. No, thanks to me. I planned it all. So I understand what you're saying is that. He talked you, from your point of view, he talked you into giving up your week vacation, going away My with your boyfriend. Trip. Let's have a birthday party for you. My party had all this, you know, <laughs> expensive things that I didn't agree to in the beginning, um, which a week before he told me, I need this, I need that, and I just didn't feel like it was falling into place correctly. So I myself went up and up hired an event planner. Did you check with him as to what items you were buying and how much they would cost? For example, what if you went out and just bought, spent ten, twenty thousand dollars and then hit him with a bill for twenty thousand? Right. It, that wouldn't work. Well, in the beginning, he agreed to pay for everything. See, Paris is also an artist and makes a lot of money too. Oh, so okay. I know, you know, not just that, Jerry, but to be honest. I've done so many things for Paris. Not saying he had, not taken away from the things he has done for me because right. you know I'm not Real. like that. Yeah. But I've done a lot. I've flown to single release parties of his. I've done multiple collaborations on his projects for him. I've done performances for his events. I have a 
his initial tattooed on. I got yours too, my, right here. I, we're not talking about you. Okay. Um, so I have his you. initial yeah. on my body, which is very significant to me because you that means. You have what on your body? His initial oh. for his name. I have a P on my arm for Paris. Yeah. For him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for me. Oh. The big head bitch right there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying that you had reason to expect that he would reimburse you for the birthday party that he suggested you have. I thought he would pay for it, but then I... Totally. Right. Yeah, completely. She wanted me to pay for everything. Like I said, I get paid for hostings. I get paid for performances. I, I get see. paid for, for collaborations. This is my livelihood. Yeah. So when it comes down to it, I feel like if I've come out of pocket thousands and thousands of dollars and not been compensated for things that I normally get paid for, then I didn't think it would be a big deal. I'm sorry, I'm sweating like a hoe in church. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say, or is there any written document where he say... I will pay for your birthday party. No, there's no, no written document. And, but he, and did he ever say, I will pay for your party? Yes, verbally to me. Okay, now I want to hear from you. Go ahead, Why, bitch. if you said that to her. I don't recall saying that. When it came down to the party, the family and friends are supposed to pitch in for this party. Did you go to her and say, come on, let's do a birthday party for you? Did you do that? Judge Jerry, I don't remember saying you, I'd take care of the whole well, entire party. How did party. you get in the picture then? If you didn't because tell her I to thought, have a party. Thought, Wait, you're not letting me finish my question. How did you get into this whole picture if you didn't say to her, let's have a birthday party for you? Right. Yes, it was. Okay. Throw her a, a big, perfect birthday. What did you do for the party? I cooked all the food, purchased all the food. I had planned the whole thing. Did you purchase? Then, hey, here is the proof. Shh. Did you purchase all the food or did no. you cook yes. all the food? I purchased and cooked all the food. You purchased it. Do you yes. have the receipts for what you paid? No. I, don't, I don't have a receipt. So what I, mean, I have videos right here. That's the There's video. There's the food. I see the food. I was sweating on the arms back all that. Oh, I you came were a day sweating. before. Yes, to cook all this food. Oh, man. It was, was like a Look catered it. situation. Everyone out. here is sweating. And I Big saw Mac pictures of cheese, you behind the bar. Yes. And first of all, she's supposed to have a bartender. Everybody was looking to me to be the bartender. I don't know why. I'm not no bartender. I only did it because I love her, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's my best friend. We should not be here right now. Got you know what I Okay. Oh. There, there you go. That's me behind the bar. Why that bitch, you know? <laughs> why do y'all be looking like that? <laughs> now you see how stressed I was. That's how you Being look. behind this brat. You yeah. see that? I'm sweating. Look at my face. You prepared the food. Yes. You have no proof that you bought the food. You have no Everybody proof. Knows I need proof Sir, in listen. court. He's talking. Okay, you have no proof that you bought it, but you did prepare it. You yes. were the bar bartender. Mm -hmm. Did you buy her a gift? Yes, I brought her a pair of shoes, it's Jimmy's shoes. Judge, they okay. were some. And wait, I'm talking to him now. And so you <laughs> bought her shoes, and you have the receipt for the shoes. How yes, I do. Shoes? Here you go, right here, seven fifty. Okay. Boom, that was her birthday shoe she had on right there. And they would slap them shoes together, and you'll be back in Candace looking shoes. <laughs> okay. I'm not Dorothy. And you are not the Tin Man, though you look like it. Yeah. You feel me? I, I packed up all the food. No yeah. help. You know what I mean? He helped a little bit, but I'm not even talking to him right now. It's yeah, and, and you are? My name is Chevelle. I'm actually uh, I'm Mariah and Paris' manager, so I'm like in between. It's kind of bad. Oh, oh, yeah. you manage both of them. Yeah. I do. I manage both of them. And what can you add to this? Paris did Agreed. say that he was going to pay for pay the party. Oh, you're saying, oh, this is important. You said mm. he said he would pay for the entire party. He did. He did. Okay, thank you very much. That was helpful. Thank that was you. very helpful. It. It's kind of what I asked in the beginning. <clears throat> Knowing that he was, he was your friend. Mm -hmm. is your friend. Best friend. Best friend. Yes. And that he was going to pay for it. Wouldn't the normal thing to do is, as you're going out and spending mm -hmm. $5,000. More make, than that. More than that. If you're going to be spending that kind of money, wouldn't you say to your friend, okay, this is what I'm going to be purchasing. And as you're at the store ready to put down a couple of thousand bucks, wouldn't you pick up your phone and call him and say, hey, this, are you put sure you want on. this because it's several on. thousand dollars? What if she went out and spent $20,000? At what point does she have to check with him? Are you sure you're okay with this and not just hit him with a, with a huge bill? I would yes. absolutely and doably not ask him because I try to cut corners as much as I can. Like I said, I do have a reputation. Mm -hmm. I am very well known worldwide. Um, I'm a gold selling artist. I've been on multiple television shows. So. People, especially my celebrity friends that I invited, blogs, 
Um, I had celebrity photographers come. And these were people who came as a favor to me who didn't charge me. So I literally had to work with a budget with the event planner. I worked with budgets. I tried to talk people down as much as I could. You're manager of both. And you're saying you heard him say, I will pay for the party. They both, Stand up. They both, they both said it. She told me that he was going to pay for it. He also told me that as well. Yeah, that, wow. that, important. You heard him say I that. Heard him Not say just that. that she told you, but no, you heard him say 100%, it. He told and me. you're his manager. Something? Correct. So if you're not telling the truth, he's going to be angry enough to get rid of you. I'll yeah. be his yeah, ass. Right. I will yeah. be his whole ass. Okay, okay. See, now let me hear from you. He said he is your own manager. He could stay out of it. But he is voluntarily coming to court, representing mm -hmm. both of you, has an interest in both of you. Mm -hmm. She heard you say, I'll pay for it. Maybe it's one of those, and we all say things like, you know, and then two minutes later you're thinking, oh, geez, I can't believe I said that. Right. But you said it. Why would your own manager under oath lie to hurt you? Because know, he right knows like, you're... I should, we shouldn't be here right now. We you know what I mean? We should not be here right now. The fact of the matter what I'm is, saying is she's a best friend of yours. Yes, she is. You said at, at a moment, maybe you considered a moment of weakness, but you said you ought to have a party, I'll pay for it. Yeah, because she always has... You were paying for his party. I know. Mean, just said, I yeah. his whole party. I'm not saying you didn't have a reason to say it. Mm -hmm. I'm not even saying it wasn't a nice thing to do. Right. It was a very nice thing to do. Right. That's maybe one of the reasons you have fans, people like you. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that he is saying under oath, certainly against his interest, because it's against his interest to say that, knowing that he could lose you as a client because under oath, he's saying that you owe her the money. Either you run me my coin or you can run away from me while I attempt to beat your ass. Well, run up. Okay, there's another show. Where are your receipts? Right That's here. All. I just want to see the receipts and then I'll make a decision. Here's the receipt for the event. Acknowledges receipt from you of the sum of $3,000 paid by Apple Pay. Yes. Judge, can I say one more thing? I have the responsibility to take care of my little sister, who I have full custody of. Now let me talk about your friendship. $4. Since you are both successful artists, and you both have a future, I'm just wondering, it's not worth throwing out your friendship over a lawsuit about a birthday party. That's how she is. She's spoiled. Which yeah. is why I came to you. I've been saying the whole yeah, time. Yeah, but it's a lawsuit. He won't make the decision to run me my coin. In the end, Yo. is your coin worth more than your friendship? I don't want to lose my best friend. The money really means nothing to me. It was just the principle. It's the principle of your best friend duties. I feel like he lacked and... I would never do that to him. So I kind of had to bring him to you to kind of show him, like, look, I, I don't want to lose you as a friend. Duties. And normally, um, I, I am from I am. So from the are you hood. willing to lower the amount that you're asking no, for? No, absolutely well, not. Well, wait, you just finished telling me. <laughs> no, he's still got to run me my coin. And then we could be friends, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> there is evidence that your agent says that you agreed to pay for the party. Period. The exact amount is not clear. However, I can conclude in watching the video and having both of you talk about what kind of a party is, I feel comfortable saying that you should receive $4,000 based on a promise that you made to pay for the party. I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $4,000. Boom! Bitch! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.